So now let's uh, follow these steps to create this uh, create a sample fat trail image. I open a terminal window, but uh, again, I would like to create a folder to hold all the files I create today. Go inside documents at S4, Project two, three slab, slab zero three. CD to lab zero three here. Oops, I, I copied. Copy it. Paste here. Okay, task one. Create an image of size uh, two megabytes. You already know how to create an image file with the DD command. DD input file equals device zero. We want to fill the image with or with zero. OF equals now we create a uh, fat trail dot mg to make it more readable. Then the size we need to specify the size. The block size we just use a two megabytes, two m, and the count just one. Right? This will uh, they will work. So here we copy the two megabytes, but. We know that uh, we have a binary prefix and a metric prefix. These two, two megabytes, you can convert this number to, to see whether it, this one is a, a metric prefix or use a binary prefix. So it does not matter, it's okay, like this. Now we have this uh, file, we type it as. You see this is uh, 2.0 megabytes. This fat trail image, and it's a field or with zero. Task two: mount the image on a, a loop device. We use sudo low setup dash dash find. Then this a uh, fat tail image. It will find uh, available loop device and uh, mount our uh, image to that uh, loop device. So we can check while it is sudo low setup list. So it's on this uh, loop six. Now we uh, format the loop de device with fat tail. sudo make fs Oops, uh, make uh, fs which means create file system with a fat and the fat table is 12 bit followed by this uh, de loop device loop six okay it's uh, formatted now we mount this loop device to an empty folder and create several folders and files inside. So do mount, oops, mount the DV loop six to a folder. Usually we, it's okay, just use this mount folder, it's empty over there. Now we can go to that uh, mount folder, CD to that mount folder. Actually, currently we are working inside that image, just like uh, you work in normal folders. To type LS, that's there nothing here currently. We want to create uh, several folders, then create uh, several files. With them as a landmark. Later when we are analyze this image with a WX hex editor, we know where we are. 
So let's uh, create uh, some folders. But uh, this way, it, uh, we will need a sudo to create. This is not a good idea. How do you unmount uh, this one? We need to CD. Let's just uh, go back to. Oops. Go back to our lab. Right. Use uh, just a single uh, dash. It will go back to your previous folder. Okay, now we need to uh, unmount it. So do you mount? Unmount, I agree, there is no end, just you mount. You mount this uh, mount folder. Okay, it's unmounted. This time I want to mount it uh, uh, again, but with some options. Uh, read write, UID equals 1000. GID with a 1000, which means I'm the current user. I hope I can read and write that, that image without sudo command, without sudo. So now, this time we go to that mount folder. We should be able to uh, create folders and files without sudo. So make DLR. Now how do we create several folders? We just create a folder. But we want to create, uh, for example, uh, seven folders. Folder one to folder seven. One dot dot seven. You use LS, you see I created seven folders inside. Now I want to put some files inside. For example, inside uh, folder one, we uh, use touch. Folder one. Then we create file. Let's say one to a file. It will create files, uh, five files under folder one. You can verify it with the tree command. But before that, I would like to create. A, uh, I think uh, now it's, uh, it's good. We want to uh, put some contents inside those files. So we use echo, hello, digit, forensics. And I save this one to uh, the first file and the folder one, file one. And I want to put some uh, other com contents, echo, and this time I want to uh, put a lot of stuff. If so, it's better we can use a plumber. Right? Plumber fold one, uh, for example, file five. Then inside this file, I, I would like to copy, uh, yeah, copy these contents. Control C, put it inside here. Yes, save it. Well, now we have uh, a little bit larger file inside. Okay, we have two files. They have contents. Other files, we don't have content, and we also have six uh, empty folders. Now we cd back to our previous uh, folder, the uh, lab 03. Then unmount sudo your mount this uh, loop device from this mount uh, mounting point. This is our mounting point. Okay, once it's unmounted, uh, those data are written into that image file. Now we can open this loop device with a WX hex editor and investigate it following this overview of. Yeah, that overview is this one. I would like to close others. Let's look at this. Yeah. Here, this uh, overview of fat trail. To see what a uh, fat looks, fat trail looks like. Here we have sectors, the boot sector. Then we have two fat, fat tables and the root directory and the data area. These are sectors. 
7 to 1 to 9, 10 to 18, and so on. But uh, there are some uh, prerequisite. We go through here. The size of a uh, sector is uh, 500 terabytes. Then we can follow this one to do the analysis. We use the WX uh, hex editor. Uh, we need a sudo WX hex editor followed by the, the loop device, loop six. Press enter. Then we will see this, uh, this one. We would like to change the offset to the format of sector followed by the offset to that sector. Right? You see this is the first uh, block, first uh, sector here, the first sector. What information do we have in the first sector and the second sector, third sector, and so on. Here you can see this stuff. Now here you can see a uh, photo one, photo two, photo three, and also we have uh, photo seven here. Now those files, when we scroll down, I see something uh, over there, but they're not files. So you can scroll to a look. Okay, it looks like there's a files on this data not here. Actually, uh, oops, I just okay. Now let's uh, analyze uh, one sector by sector to find the information we need. Right. First, uh, the disk organization, we want to see the first sector, the boot sector, and from sector one to, to nine is the uh, first sector, uh, first uh, fat table. And uh, maybe ours is not necessarily the, these uh, sector numbers. We can have a look. And the first sector in the floppy disk is root directory. It says it's a sector 19. So we can check, go to a sector 19 to see whether it's that one. Sector 19 from the beginning with a hex a decimal number, go there. Here, 19, nothing here. So which means ours is, an, is not like a their layout. We have different layout. Now, how could we find our layout rather than my first uh, fat table, rather than my second fat, fat table? We should, we should have information in this boot sector. Right? Here is the boot sector. In this boot sector, here we can see from offset zero and uh, the first 11 bytes, the ignore and ignore them. We go to the first sector here. The first sector, the first uh, 11, the first 11 uh, bytes. Here I chose the, uh, when you choose this stuff, you can always check your status bar, how many bytes you chosen from where to where. And we want to find the, the information on the offset 11. Here, the offset, uh, this is offset uh, 11. Offset 11, we take two bytes, right? Two bytes, zero, 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 two, two bytes. It says this number of the bytes per second. Now, this is zero, 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 two. What this number? We, again, we, we can use a, uh, I Python in your terminal window, you open a tab, bring up your I Python. Mine is a conda activate base. Certainly, you can use your calculator, it's okay. I Python, 
and that number, 0x, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, we need to write in reverse order because it's uh, here, right? Because it's a uh, little India. Now you see it's uh, 500 tail bytes per sector. Then is sectors per cluster. Sectors per, per cluster is uh, from uh, 13, is zero, this is zero 04, right? Zero 04, hex number zero 04 is also decimal number zero 04, which means each cluster, each cluster we have uh, four sectors. Then number of reserved sectors go to uh, offset four, 14. Yeah, the offset 14. This is uh, offset 14. Take out two bytes here. Take out two bytes, 0, 1, 0, 0. If you write in uh, reverse order, it would be 0, 0, 0, 1. So which means just one. One preserved sector in our uh, image. Then the number of fat tables, number of fat tables it, uh, from this one. Here you can see it's zero, two, zero, zero. Take two bytes here. Take two bytes. The number of fats is take one byte. Take one byte, offset is 16. Here you see this is offset here, 16. Offset 16, this is zero. Column zero means the zero sector zero. Right? Sixteen here you see it's zero two one by zero two, which means we have two fat tables. Then the maximum number of root directory entries is start at offset thirteen is here. Uh, Seventeen is here, and take two bytes. We write that as a little Indian it would be zero two zero zero. So zero x zero two zero zero. So it would be five hundred and twelve directory entry. Here we take out two bytes. Uh, actually there there is a fun function functionality provided by this WX uh, hex editor. You just right click, then use a quick tag, then you see those two bytes are highlighted or actually are with a one color. If we create another tag, it will give us uh, another color. Let's go to the next two bytes. The total sector count, which means is the next two bytes. The next two bytes, if you add a quick tag, oops, I just uh, Select three. So I need to delete that tag. Tag editor. Oops, how do I remove that tag, tag editor? Here. Select it. Tag. Uh, quick tag, new tag, tag editor. I choose this remove. So it's removed. We only choose uh, two bytes from. 19, right? So it would be 19, 20. Then add a quick tag. So you see it uh, add this gray color. And this number, it represents the total sector count. So we again, we read it as uh, 1000. Zero, zero, zero. So it's a 0x1000. Zero zero, zero, zero. So it would be 4096. This is the total exact count. Then the 21st one byte is ignored. So we have uh, some rough information about our uh, FAT file system. Actually, we can open a new tab and use the uh, FS stat, right? This is sluice kit uh, command. FAT image. You can see uh, the information here. Volume ID, fat tail, now total range in sectors. 
as we know, is total uh, circular num count is uh, 4096 because the index from zero here, when you index from zero, it would be zero to uh, 4095. Uh, total range reserved uh, zero put sector is zero. We have two factor tables. Now you see all factor tables. Fat zero is from one to three. Fat one is from four to six. Uh, it's not like this uh, reference uh, PDF, so you need to uh, check by yourself. The data area is from seven to to this last sector. The root directory is here. Cluster area is here. And uh, cluster size, you can check here. Uh, metadata information, sector size, cluster size is here. Yeah, each cluster equals four sectors. All right, then the fat content. We want to check the content one by one. Currently, we just get the information from that boot sector. Actually, this information they are extracted from the boot sector. Here we still have this stuff. Well, for example, the volume ID. Now we want to compare compare our manual analysis with this uh, FS state, the slow kit output. We want to confirm the, the first uh, sample. Well, now the sectors per fat is from offset 22 with two bytes. Offset 22. Here, 21, 22, with the two bytes. Here, we select two bytes. And uh, these two bytes, when we read it, it would be 0003. Zero, 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 right? Uh, it says from uh, 22, take two bytes. Here is my 22, and I take, take two bytes, it, it, it would be 0003. 0003, x number three is still decimal number three. So which means each uh, sectors per fat, each fat has uh, three sectors. We can check here. For example, fat zero, it contains the sector one, two, three, right? Three sectors. So we, we know this is right. Now sectors per track, numbers of head, heads, uh, we don't care about those stuff because today we use a, a LBA, the linear block address instead of the CHS address. So we can uh, just uh, went through them. Certainly you can find this information, 24, with the two bytes, it would be zero zero two zero. Here, when you read it, it would be zero zero two zero. So each byte, you don't reverse the order; you just reverse the order of byte. Byte. So zero zero two zero. Zero zero two zero. What's that? Zero x zero zero two zero. It would be a thirty two, which means the sectors per track. There are thirty two sectors per track. So the header you can analyze by yourself. Now for this uh, total sector count, zero for fat tail. So you can go, go, go through this stuff all by yourself. Because we analyze with the same thing. We, I want to verify one thing. For example, that uh, label and this is volume ID. Yeah, what is that label? Volume label is here. Volume ID is there. So you can check by yourself. I only check this volume label from uh, offset 43. So check 43. Actually, I see it here. When you see, select this place, you see it's, uh, it's offset is 54. Yeah, 54, the file system type. That is a file system type. And the name, the volume label is 43. Here, 43. I check with uh, 
43, 50, 45, 42, 43 from here. From here you see it says no name. The label is no name. Here you check the label here, no name. So that is how do we analyze the manually to find the information of the fat table. The next one we want to find those uh, folders and uh, files, how do they organize? Here, how do they organize those stuff? We would like to go to uh, the directories. Here, the directories, how they are organized. They exist, exist uh, like files on the disk in that they occupy one or more sectors. Each sector or a directory contains 16 directory entries, each of which is 32 bytes long. Now you see uh, it has directory entries. Each sector or director, directory contains 16 directory entry and each of which is a set of two bytes because you time these two together, you will get this file uh, 112. And each directory entry describes, uh, describes and points to some file or subdirectory on the disk. Thus the collection of directory entries for a directory specifies the files and the subdirectories of that directory. And each directory entry contains the following information about a file and a subject to which it uh, points. So we go to our first uh, thread table, right? Go to our first thread table. Our first thread table starts at sector, sector one to sector three. So here is the set, sector one, Now inside this uh, sector, sector one, two, three, it looks like uh, some information is not uh, re written to this uh, fair, fair allocation table. Let's have a look. Here is about a directory, but we need to go to that uh, fat table first. Here, the fat table. The fat table is a data structure that uh, maps the data sectors of a storage device. It's uh, similar to array, and uh, each entry in this one corresponds to a cluster of data on the disk. Now, pay attention, it corresponds to clusters. Cluster here we have the cluster equals uh, four sectors, and the value in each entry of this fat that are all interesting or this stuff. Here you can check this uh, stuff. The fat entry values signify the following: zero zero and used FF zero FF six. We didn't see a clear layout of. Uh, Fat uh, entry, so this this one is not that uh, useful. You can check uh, fat entry. See the layout of a fat table first. Here, there's a fat extended boot record. We want to find the fat table. Fat tail, oops, we have only a code description. These are all your, let's now go to, the, go to the manual analysis of the fat tail fair system to have a look. Fat one, fat two, fat a. We have only two fat tables: the root directory and data uh, 
clusters and the put sector we already analyzed the put sector we need to fill these numbers and we go to a fair table fair allocation table fair entry we already held the fair entry but we want to find the direction of those uh, the description of those fat entries or those fat tables here we come to a directory uh, directories again so where could we find that uh, fat table description here the fat table what it looks like the directory entry point to this place we need to go through this uh, document uh, maybe it's better to just follow this uh, order so we can uh, find uh, clearly oh fair allocation table those entries uh, it also looks like they are linked together like a linked list so with this idea keep this idea in, in your mind okay let's have a 10 minutes break then we will come back to to analyze this uh, provided image For this uh, uh, first uh, six tasks, we just stop here. We can in investigate for this uh, this one because each uh, data, what it means, you just follow the description. Go to its offset, find those number of, of bytes, and you use this uh, explanation to see what it is. And you use uh, that uh, little Indian to convert hex number into your decimal number, then you will know what it is. Hello everyone, let's continue our class. Let's use a detailed described example. This one, you can download the image from the website here. The image is here, you can download it the fair trail dot image oops i just uh, named mine as a fair trail dot image so it's better use another name so i would like to close my current one and change it to another name we need to amount it first from that loop device, so do so not not a amount. We use a low setup detach, right? Detach dv loop six. Detach our image from this uh, loop device. Okay, it's detached. So I would like to change it to another name. So when you are doing this lab, maybe you use a different name at the beginning. Is okay. So what's a good name? Let's call it a fat tail demo dot image. Then I download this uh, fat tail image from our cause companion website. Lab three, save it here. Oh, right, now I have a fat tail under my folder. You can see manually uh, analyze the file system is quite tedious and error prone. There are many programs can be used to do the analysis. 
but uh, currently why do why do we uh, analyze them manually it's just uh, as a practice to learn how the file systems they are layout how do they organize the folders and the files and so on. we can use the sluice kit to set as a uh, assistance here we use fs state to find the fat uh, dot image is a file system first it cannot determine uh, the file system when we use this FS state on our fat tail demo, we got this stuff. But this uh, fat, we can, it says, cannot determine the fat system. Fat tail dot image. So its size is uh, seven seven. For six files, and it looks like this file is corrupted. Okay, it looks like this uh, image is uh, corrupted. It has only a seventy-seven point five uh, kilobytes. In its description, is supposed to be a is supposed to be a 1.44 megabytes when you check this place. Here we didn't see the size. What are those uh, steps we could try if we don't know it? You can try strings, fat, tail point mg. Oops. When I call strings, uh, I get some. Uh, my last command strings, fat tail dot image. Okay, the reason why I didn't get it is not because it's corrupt, because I just, uh, when I use the directory saved as, it's just save as, save its uh, PDF file, or uh, its HTML file. So let's remove this one, file.image. This is not a good way to download it. So every time you download from our course companion website, either you from its homepage to download that zip file, or you use the Git clone. So we need to go to that uh, place. Go to a uh, uh, course companion website here. Because the download, the way is not the right way to download. That is 452. I didn't, didn't make any git clone here. In my folder here, you see a, uh, okay, inside. Open a terminal window. Let's use a git clone to download it. Git clone. Git at github.com colon ufidon forward slash. This is ITS uh, for fifty two. Yes. Oops, we cannot download this way. We need a uh, HTTPS. HTTPS, uh, github.com forward slash your and just copy that uh, link. Okay, it's uh, downloaded with a git clone. Now you, you see it's downloaded here. Go to labs, lab03, the reference. This image is here. This time you see it's 1.5 megabytes. So this is good. You copy it. Go to the folder we just created today, the lab 03. Paste here. Okay, this is a fat tail image. So don't use right click and save it as, otherwise you will 
you will not get the correct uh, image. This time we will FS state fat tail dot image. All right, now you see uh, it's good. Right? You see from here, these are its uh, contents by M name, volume ID, volume label, and so preserved uh, sectors. And you also can see the class uh, area. But uh, their cluster, you can see the cluster size. Cluster size is exact the uh, sector size. Our image, one cluster equals four sector, right? So you, you will see actually there's some options to specify the cluster size. Here is just the same as the sector size. And a total cluster range. And the fat contents here is what we want to emphasize. First, we, we would like to mount on a loop device. So do low setup, find the fat trail dot image. Okay, it's mounted. We, we also need to show it what it is. Low setup. List is on loop six. Okay, looks good. Now we use uh, that WX hex editor to open this uh, loop six. DV loop six. Oops, I need sudo home sudo to open it. Okay, now you see this uh, disk, it, uh, it has more contents. But no matter how many contents are there, they are always follow the same specification. When you go down right here, you can see this disk, there are lots of data. But unfortunately, you see here F6, 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 they should be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 out. So actually, our image is, uh, is more suitable for manual analysis. But in the real world, you may have some images like this. So now you can follow the same way to analyze the boot sector as we just analyzed. So in your lab report, you need to put these numbers here. So this is a quite a complex lab report. You need to create tables and put these numbers inside. But it's easy to find them right? in this first sector, boot sector. Go to their offset, take out those bytes. This bytes you just write it as it be. Don't need to uh, reverse to to little engine. We just put those numbers there to make it more clearly in your table. Add one more column here. You add one more column here and convert this number to decimal number as I demonstrated. They are little India. So you add one more column here and put the decimal number here. Then you will, you will see the clearly, for example, the bytes per sector, you have a decimal number put here. You know how many bytes each sector. So this is a boot sector. And we want to, uh, we just, uh, just demonstrate so you know how to do all this stuff. And it also show you how to convert the byte to decimal value. We just use a uh, Python is good. So this part you don't need to uh, put in your report. The partition layout, how many copies of FAT are there? You should be able to answer this one. How large is one FAT? How many sectors as we just analyzed? And how many file directory entries can be stored in the root directory? We also analyze that. Right, just in 
and uh, give each entry is set to byte. How 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 large is the root directory? Given that each entry is set to bytes, they are all in that uh, boot sector. You can find them. And uh, where they start here, you you also be able to find it. You can use the FS state as a system as a second verification for your manual analysis. So you are suggest to use the FS state on this uh, FAT trail dot image. Use this one as an auxiliary assistance to your manual analysis. So you, you will be able to actually you use the FS state. Most of these questions you will be able to answer it without the manual analysis. Now we want to uh, analyze the layout of directories and uh, files. Here, each directory included in the root directory consists of one or more sectors that contain directory entries. And a directory entry contains information about a subdirectory or file that's contained in the directory. And the structure of one entry is shown here. Each entry is a set of bytes, so you need to get set of bytes, then analyze it. Here we first go to that uh, root entry, or uh, the root uh, folder. You can check here the data areas here and the root uh, directories from, from here, right? 19. So we go to offset 19. 19 from beginning, sector, go there. So you will see this part now. This part we take 32 bytes. The first 32 bytes is the first entry. So here we take out 32 bytes. We already know how to calculate. One five hundred twelve divided by by is sixteen. Right? We have sixteen entries here. Now let's uh, analyze the first entry. First entry it says the first eight, the first eight character, or the first eight byte, is the file name. Here I chose the. Oops, it's better change this uh, offset to, sagda with the with the offset inside that sector. So this you will see sector 19. Uh, here I need to choose eight. So you see uh, that block size eight. Here I chose the eight. So this the file name, file name what it is, is a test flop. This file name is a test flop. Then the file extension is the next three byte here. The next three byte is just empty. There is no two zero. It's an ASCII code, M empty space. So we don't have extension, file extension. Then the file attribute uh, from zero B take out one byte. Here zero B, zero B uh, it's hex number to binary number zero B is 11. So you come here to find 11 here. 11 is here. So 11, just take out one byte. So it's a 08. So what does 08 mean? You can check it later. And this one result for Windows NT. Now something interesting, creation time, creation date. As I discussed, uh, this is a trick. For example, if you submit your uh, homework later, maybe you can fake an earlier report by changing the creation time and creation date, right? So while it is 0E, 0E is uh, 14. So we go to 14. We want to check this date. This is more interesting. One zero, one zero is uh, uh, 16. So we go to that uh, 16. Uh, one zero, here is one zero. Oops. Uh, 16, I need to go to 16. Here is 16, one zero, hacked number is a uh, 16 decimal number. Now you see, uh, we take out uh, how many bytes? Two bytes is a create date, but they are all zero, zero. So how do we get the 
actual date. We also have a last access date and so last right time, last right date. So actually if you want to predate a report, you need to change all this date to make sure they are consistent. For example, what does consistent mean? Your last right date must be uh, later than the creation time, right? Now we want to find the first logic cluster of the file to find the data. We have the name and their attributes. These are the metadata of this uh, file. We want to find uh, the first logic cluster of that file to find its data and also the file size in bytes. Okay, the 1A. 1A uh, is how, how much is 1A? 1A actually is 10 plus uh, uh, 16. Is 26. You can use your use your IPython to help verify. 1A is 26. So you go to a, this offset, go to a 26 to find the first logical cluster of the file. Here, 26. Let's see what is 26. 24, 25, 26. Here is 26. Take out two bytes. So take out two bytes is zero, 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 zero. So that's the first uh, logical cluster. First logical cluster of the file, which means this is zero cluster here. There's a cluster area. That is zero cluster is a sector 33. This is a cluster area. And each cluster has the same size as the, as the sector here. You see the, so you need to make sure where they are. So it's from the logical cluster. This is a logical uh, cluster place. Here, let's check the file size. File size is uh, 1C and uh, four, four bytes. Here, 1C, it would be a, uh, how much is 1C? We know this one is 26. A, B, C, it would be 28, right? Because you take out two bytes. So you will come to 28. Here, this is 28, take out four bytes. Here, four bytes, all zero. So this file is size is zero. So here you see an example how to analyze this, this one. Uh, 32 bytes of one entry. So you can actually, you can, maybe you can uh, find it here. Actually, it's this first entry. Did you see it? It's this first entry. It's the first entry until uh, we take out uh, 32 bytes, right? Each entry is 32 bytes. Did you find all those stuff? Is it exactly the same? No, it's not exactly the same. Here, zero, zero, zero. When you come to that, uh, uh, so it's not the same. Name and extension, then you know how to do it. Attributes, now the attributes, how do you check the attribute? Each bit. Now you convert that uh, number to eight bit, then you follow each bit, what does it mean? Bit zero represents this file is read only. So if that bit zero is one, it's read only. If it's zero, so what does it mean? The file is read, which means it's not a uh, read only. Then your hidden file system, we should have more details, but uh, let's see whether we, we have more details about that. Each bit it, uh, has two values, zero or one, right? Here is the time as we just discussed and the date. You see the day, month, and date, month, and year. So we can find all this information. The first uh, cluster, And the file size, 
so you can follow this uh, follow that entry layout to fill this stuff. Now we want to find those files. Directory file one, file two, file allocation table. Here the interesting thing is uh, this one, this file allocation table. How do we, uh, for a file in that directory entry, it has a, a first cluster. When you check that first cluster, check the contents. You see if it's contents file CA, it point to this uh, file allocation table, your yeah, file CA, and you go to that location to find uh, the next uh, cluster. The next cluster is uh, this uh, one three A, and one three A it will you go to there, it uh, point to the next one, and so on. just like a link list. But you we need to uh, read this uh, carefully to see here file entry. First, uh, from the directory entry, we find that the first logical cluster of the file is this one. As we just analyzed, that one is a, it's a first logical entry is, is all zero. With this example, file CA, in order to find the second cluster of the file, we go to the FAT table and look up the value that, that's stored in the FAT entry with index file CA here, the next file CA to find this uh, entry and we find the value inside is this one, one, three, eight, which is the identification number, identification number of the second uh, cluster of the file. So you can find the second, uh, the identification number of the second cluster then the third cluster can be found by looking up the value of the FAT entry here, 0x13a, which gives us the cluster ID 0x2b0. Here you come to this place, 2b0. This one is the allocation entry here, 0x13a, 0x13a. And the class ID to be zero. Finally, we look up the value of file entry to be zero here, which finds the value of FA eight. Now, what does FA eight mean? You see it to be zero, to be zero here, we find the value test. Then go inside, check the contents. The content of FA eight. FA eight, this one of the special value mentioned above, which indicates that this is the last uh, cluster of the file. So this is where your file stop when you find a 0x FF8 over there, you stop there. And putting this all together, we can conclude that the file footballer.txt consists of the logical cluster 0x file CA, 0x13, 0x2b0. Now, pay attention to this number. It has only a three hex digits, three hex digits. Each hex digit is four bit, right? Three times four is 12. 12, that's why a FAT table is called a FAT 12, because each entry just 12 bits. Here you see each one is a three hex character. So it's, a, it's called a FAT 12, this is the reason. Every FAT entry is a 12 bit value. This means that one entry cannot be stored in one byte, yet it also does not require the full capacity of two bytes. So if so, how, how do we find them? In order not to waste uh, space, two file entries are stored together in three bytes, because three bytes is uh, 24 uh, bits. Now those uh, three bytes, how do we, how do we uh, segment that three bytes? Here, how do we do it? We can convert from the hex 
that's more value of the three bytes to the hex that's more value of the two fat entries using this following rule. We need to pay attention how do we segment that three bytes. If that three bytes is UVWXYZ, then it would become fat entry. X, UV here, X, UV, and YZ, YZ, W here, YZ, W. So it uh, need to be a segment like this. Imagine the first 12 bytes of the fat or this uh, number, and every fat entry is 12 bits long, which means this 12 bytes contains eight uh, fat entries here in one of our fat table. Fat table in this one, in this one, the first fat table start from set, sector one. So we go to sector one. Here this sector one, you check, for example, the first three bytes, it represent, here first three bytes, you need to, uh, it represent a two fat entry. How do you get that two fat entry? F0, FF, FF, how do you get that uh, uh, three eight? Here actually you see, check this one. F0, FF, FF, 0, 0, no, it's not the same. Here, we have 4F0005. So it's just as an example you can use to analyze. So this uh, first item would be, here, we need to separate the middle uh, byte into two and combine here like this, that X, or the second uh, byte move combined with this first byte, X, U, U, V, which means the middle byte, we have both F, F. So we take one F, the second F, combine with this F, zero, so we get F, F, zero. So like this, F, F, zero. Now the next one is this one, Y, Z, W. So we take this byte first, this byte is F, F, and that uh, W is also F, so we get three F here. The next one will be F, 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 called here. So for others, you can follow the same way. Three bytes at a time, you segment them like this to get all those entries. Each entry contains uh, three hex character, which means it's 12 uh, bits. So this is the file allocation table and the entries. And you go through the, uh, we don't, don't have more. Now for that entry, we this uh, address here. Here you see this address. The first one, the address, right? Here are the address, here are the contents. The address is offset into this uh, fair allocation table. This fair allocation table, each is three, here, each is three of them. Now actually you need to draw something by yourself. Here, you take three, follow this way, follow this one, that is your VW part. Get that UVW part. How do you segment that one? The UVW part is here. You take a three bytes at a time and uh, segment that three bytes into two entry. And those entry you put in sequence. You put them in sequence, you will get a table like this, right? the first entry, next entry, and so on. All those entries, they are arranged like this. And the first entry, we call it uh, index is 0, 0, 0. The next one is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, uh, and, 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 and continue. Now, 
you will get a uh, their index and their contents. Their contents. These are their contents here. Their contents are here. Pay attention. This index is not the index here. The index is uh, generated by yourself by organize three bytes into two entries. Three bytes into two entries. Organize them into a table like this. Then you count those uh, entries, get this index, start from zero. And you need to pay attention that value inside that, uh, inside this table here, for example, this is one, three, A, it uh, means the index here. Zero X, one, three, A is this index. Go to the index, find the value inside. This value is also the index here, two B zero. Come here, two B zero. Then you get its value inside that entry, get FF8. FF8 is already the end or the stop of the file. For the last, uh, it means that the cluster here. File, file 8 means this is one special value mentioned about, which indicates that the last uh, cluster of the file. So this is your, uh, how to, uh, you need uh, lots of manual analysis. How could we have any assistance to use as assist, uh, to use to help us to do the manual analysis? Yes, we do, we, we have. Go to sluice kit here, the sluice kit of file system I did put a source, uh, source kit I put it here to an overview. Go to here, we check the file name layer to a file system layer to we want to use it. Now we want to go to this uh, metadata layer tools and uh, data unit uh, layer tools. These tools can help you to go through this uh, manual analysis. How do we use it? For example, this. Uh, Data unit layer tool, BLKLS. We can have a look to have a try. BLKLS, our fat tail image. Oops, this BLKLS list out all the stuff. We check this one. Uh, statistics about a given data unit in in you know, easy to read format, this extract, this list, those stuff. Details about data units and extract unallocated uh, space of the file system. So you can uh, try this stuff by yourself. To, for example, you can use uh, more to see the, so this one looks like not help, so just quit it. So you can check this stuff, for example, uh, FLS, list the allocated and uh, deleted file names in a di directory. FLS, file tail dot image. Then you can see there are D, what does D mean, what does R mean? So you can go inside this command. Do you need deleted stuff or regular stuff? Here you see this uh, test flop, volume label entry, and we have two files, photos. So you can go, go inside to see this uh, FLS. What does this stuff mean? Or oh, regular file, D directory, and so on. So we can check them. Yeah, so now for, for a concrete file, we want to find those files, right? If we use uh, extract data units of a file, we can use this iCAT, I find to find the metadata structure given to that file name. And we can use this I file to find the clusters or sectors allocated to this file. I 
find here we want to find this uh, this one but we need to check how to use it this find it is used to find the image images and that file how do we specify that file find all nodes so we can just uh, try this i find uh, let's see whether it uh, print out what is stuff fat tail dot image i find i still need to specify those types and stuff otherwise we are not able to list out this stuff here find the metadata given file name so we can give a file name we only know one file name for example this is some dot xls i find dash n sum dot x xls this one xls and followed by that image fat 12 dot image maybe we still need to specify other stuff let's see if it does not work we will then we specify all other stuff here it just tell us server so what does this server mean that server means the given data unit the data unit means that uh, uh, cluster server you can find it over there find the metadata structure that has a given file name point it point it to it and the metadata structure that points to a given data units yeah we don't know how detailed stuff i think maybe that ils is more helpful just as we use this FLS, ILS, fat tail dot image. So from this one, uh, we can find uh, class host device stop time. Again, here we still need a The manual detailing, detailed manual to find uh, this the explanation of these uh, numbers. Okay, you need to go through this stuff uh, by yourself. And do the manual analysis with the uh, WX hex editor. Follow the follow this uh, manual analysis PDF file. The key part. Is this the hardest part? Is this part because you need to separate those uh, three bytes into two entries and put them into the table, then put the index zero, one, two, three, and so on. Each entry you have an index, it's, so it's better use Excel table or certainly in your word doc, word processor you can create a table with the uh, two columns. This column as the index, the second column as the fat entries. Uh, this is a hard lab. You need to read and follow this uh, manual carefully. Any questions? So we make a summary about our lab. The first, uh, the first uh, six tasks are quite easy, but uh, this one, task six, in order you to do task six, you need to complete task seven first. Then you can go back to uh, task six. Uh, 